How to install a plan vertical panel radiator. In all cases, it is strongly recommended that a suitably qualified professional installer or similar tradesperson carries out the installation. To install a vertical plan panel radiator, you'll need the right tools. We recommend flathead screwdriver, spanner, socket ratchet, tape measure, medium sized and long spirit levels, packaging cutter, pencil, drill and drill bit, radiator bleed key, cloths and PTFE tape, together with the correct fixings for the wall on which you're installing the radiator. To ensure the radiator reaches you in the best possible condition, we ship our products using durable packaging. Carefully remove the plastic outer wrappings and dispose of it responsibly. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the packaging staples from around the box. Once all staples have been removed, open the box, carefully dispose of the lid and remove all inner protective packaging. Once protective packaging has been removed, ensure all of the correct components are in the packaging. You'll find J brackets, top brace, top brace fittings, plugs and bolts, plug and vent kits, side panels and side panel clips. Installation instructions can also be found in the J brackets packaging. For this installation, we'll be using a Type 21 1800 by 450 vertical premium panel radiator. The measurements used in this installation reflect the specific size of this radiator. If your radiator is a different size, please check its specific instructions before commencing installation. Prior to installation, the water and heating system must be turned off. Remove the top plastic paint plugs with a spanner and replace with the working vent and one of the blanking plugs supplied in packaging. The vent and plug should be tightened with a spanner, but do not over tighten them. For this installation, we'll be using a standard connection. So the bottom central connection paint plug should be removed and replaced with the remaining two blanking plugs. Again, these should be tightened with a spanner, but not over tightened. Using a spanner, remove the bottom paint plugs and fit the valve tails. Ensure the valve tails are wrapped in PTFE tape and fitted to the bottom radiator connections prior to installation. Once you're happy that the radiator is prepared for installation, you need to consider the location where the radiator is to be installed. The radiator position may be predetermined by existing pipe positions or may be dictated by the room shape and features. For this installation, we're using the center of our wall, which is four meters long, which makes the center point two meters in. Mark the central point where the radiator will be positioned and draw a line with a spirit level to show the vertical central position. Once the central position has been drawn, allowing a minimum floor clearance of 100 millimeters, draw the horizontal mounting position using a spirit level. Ensure there will be a minimum clearance of at least 100 millimeters at either side and also 100 millimeters above and below the radiator. Using the horizontal marking position as a guide, mark locations 100 millimeters on either side of the central position line. Then, using a spirit level, draw two vertical lines from these marks on either side of the central position line. Position the J brackets onto these vertical lines, ensuring they are level with the horizontal marking position line. Once you're happy that the brackets are level, mark drill holes. Repeat this for both brackets. Once the positions have been marked, carefully drill the holes for the fixings. Place wall plugs into drilled holes. 
screw in the fixing bolts using the socket ratchet, position the brackets and tighten. Once the J brackets are fixed, ensure they're level using a spirit level. Once level, mark security fixing holes, drill and fix the security bolts in place on both brackets. From the lower horizontal line, measure 1450mm and mark the position. From the marked position, using a spirit level draw the upper horizontal line. From the upper central position, and in line with the upper horizontal line, mark positions at 95mm on either side of the central line. Position the upper brace bracket centrally to the marks, ensuring that they are aligned with the holes on the brace bracket. Once you've checked the alignment, remove the brace bracket and drill holes. Again, Screw in the bolts using the socket ratchet, position the brackets and tighten. Finally, check that the brace bracket is level. Once happy that the brace bracket is level, attach the top brace fittings onto either side of the brace bracket. With the help of a colleague, Lift the radiator, placing it onto both lower brackets. Be sure to centre the radiator correctly when doing this. Once lifted into position, ensuring the radiator is centrally positioned, fasten both top brace fittings, ensuring each side is clamped where the welding seam is visible. Tighten to ensure the radiator is securely in place. Assemble the side panels by fitting the side panel clips. Once assembled, fit the side panels onto either side of the radiator. Once mounted into its final position and piped up, the valve connections can then be tightened. This process should use just enough force to make the joints watertight. We suggest using a TRV and lock shield combination. Our range of TRVs and manual valves can be found in our heating solutions portfolio. Once all valves have been fitted, ensure everything has been installed correctly. The water and heating system can then be switched on to allow the radiator to fill. The radiator should then be bled to ensure no air is trapped in the system, balanced to ensure even heat distribution and checked for leaks. When you're happy, dispose of packaging in a safe and environmentally friendly way. The installation is now complete. If you're looking at heating solutions for your next project, this product can be installed in a variety of large-scale applications, including offices, hotels, apartments and communal buildings. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video useful.